Hi, and thanks for coming to the Sterling Power page. My name's Ben, and I promise I'm not being held against my will to make this video. I'm, I'm not. The product you see before you today is the BC1220, one of our newest AC-DC chargers from our sibling brand, Amps. Other variants of the BC include the 1240, our 12V40 amp variant, and the 2420, our 24V20 amp variant. All variants are the same size. BC, imaginatively, stands for the battery charger, and was developed to meet the needs of a modern lithium customer. We had a number of customers buying advanced lithium battery systems, but refused to buy a lithium compliant charger, as they were too expensive. So, we developed this and tried to keep it as cost effective as possible. Key features of the BC series are as follows. Three possible presets to meet your battery needs, and an additional desulfation mode. Two independent, but non-isolated outputs to maintain two separate battery banks. Simple installation, with a UK mains plug included and no complicated LED systems. Intelligent four-stage charger, ensuring proper charge and maintenance of your batteries. On the lithium profile, and with the temperature sensor fitted, the charger will stop attempting to charge your batteries at zero degrees C. Live output on the lithium mode in order to wake up a sleeping BMS, the feature that other low-cost lithium suitable chargers appear to overlook, and it's roughly 92% efficient. The limitations of the product are as follows. There is no option for a custom output voltage. If you're interested in a custom profile, please consider the PCU or the ProCharge Ultra. The two outputs share the same voltage profile, so if you need different voltage profiles for your two banks, you may have to consider either two charges or use a battery chemistry module. The BC1220 is, at this moment, 240 volts only. There is no 110 volt model. If you require a global charger, i.e. one that can take 110 volts and 240 volts and everything in between, please consider the PCU. Inside of the BC box, you will receive one BC with a UK mains plug, one temperature sensor, this goes on to the negative if you need either a low temperature shutdown for lithium or temperature compensation on non-lithium, most people probably don't need either, and one times user manual. If you lose this, because we know what you're like, there is a QR code that you can scan from the unit itself. On the charger, you will find the following. These LEDs display the charging status, including which stage of charge we are in and the battery type currently configured. The set button is used for configuring the charger. Up here is the top end cap, which covers two mounting legs and the fan inlet vents. Down here is the bottom end cap. When removed, this exposes the AC mains cable, the DC output blade fuse. You'll want to be aware of this fuse as it will blow under reverse polarity. DC outputs, the temper sensor connector, and the two mounting legs. Thanks for watching part one of the BC, the unboxing. Uh, two more parts will soon follow, a basic install and then some troubleshooting. Uh, the background clips you're seeing right now are actually videos from one of our ambassadors cooking using our IH1 induction homes in Europe. If there are any questions you have in regards to anything Sterling related or I guess otherwise, please leave a comment below. I'll probably reply to you directly or I may even work on a Sterling FAQ video if the question is common or best answered in a video format. We intend to be more active on media going forward, so please consider subscribing and pressing the little bell icon. It's free, it helps push us up the algorithm, and it ensures you stay updated on anything you new we have to show. Thanks.